What's going on guys? I am back here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. This is the home of the place that sells some really, really awesome mobile suite fifth wheels. I am here looking at this really, really compact micro light by Flagstaff travel trailer. Now this is a really, really cool setup and you're going to want to take a look at it, mainly because it's very compact and a lot of people really dig these compact style travel trailers. So hold tight, I'll be right back. So one of the first things you're going to notice about this travel trailer is that it has a bike rack integrated into the front. It's made by a jacket. It's the Let's Go Arrow. This is a really, really cool setup. So you can mount some bikes on the front of the A-frame, and it gives you a lot of extra room in terms of interior storage whenever you're traveling with bikes. I know that that's a challenge for a lot of people whenever they're towing. And I love the fact that once you lower the Murphy bed, you have this really large window up front to give you visibility outside of your coach at night. I also like the really nice sloping angle. It's a little bit different than what you generally see on travel trailers. Also guys, pardon the wind. It is always really windy out here. I will get into this RV really soon. Let's take a quick look at the numbers on this unit. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,560 pounds, has 3,000 pound axles, and has 205-75 R14 tires. It has a maximum cargo capacity of 1,819 pounds. This is definitely what I would consider on the high end of a travel trailer for a half ton truck, and on the lower end in terms of weight for a three quarter ton truck. You know me, I like the limit of 6,000 pounds for a half ton to be there, but you could probably get away with a trailer like this at 6,560 pounds. The biggest concern for a half ton, in my opinion, would be just the taller profile of this specific trailer, which is right around 10 feet tall. So this trailer is the 21DS by Flagstaff. It is a little bit longer than 21 feet. One thing Flagstaff does very well is to appropriately name the length of their trailers. So this one's gonna be right at about 22 and a half feet in terms of overall length from the front of the A-frame to the rear bumper. Overall, it is a very compact trailer. Again, it's just a little bit tall, so if you're gonna be using a half ton to tow this, you wanna be cautious with it. Now Flagstaff does some pretty innovative storage ideas with this. You have this really nice area right here which might normally be for like a propane tank but they let you use it for storage on this one and then you have a nice pass-through storage right here again for having such a small footprint that's actually a pretty good size storage something else that's also nice about this is it has the Moride step above three-step system on this one it folds into the coach but it's a lot more stable than most steps Going inside, very nice. So you have a Murphy bed up front and you have a love seat beneath it whenever you're not sleeping. That folds down into a queen size bed. You have a curtain that kind of runs around in front of it so you get some privacy for whoever's gonna be sleeping up there. Nice pantry right here. This entire dinette area converts into a bed as well and it would probably be a full size bed, but it's really nice. Plus it's a full wraparound on a slide. The kitchen is also pretty nice. Not a lot of countertop space. You get the nice inserts on the sink and the cover for the stove to give you a little bit more if you need it. But overall, you have some nice space. Something else that's kind of interesting is if you're cooking and prepping and you don't necessarily need the table set up, you can pull the table out because it's a removable table system. And of course, you get storage underneath the dinette. Flagstaff makes very high quality coaches. In my opinion, in the Forest River line of RVs, Flagstaff is probably up there at the top in terms of overall build quality and fit and finish. TVs mounted above the vent hood. Microwave, stereo system. Here's your control panels. Control your slide, awning, and your lights. Here's your thermostat, and it is a ducted AC system. All LED lighting. And the floor looks really nice in this coach. Has a nice wood finished refrigerator, more pantry room, a lot of storage. And that's something also Flagstaff is known for is the amount of storage that they give you inside of the coach. Asking price is 25,900. Bathroom area is also really nice. Nice medicine cabinet has a nice tall shower. You probably can be upwards of about six foot, six foot two, and comfortably take a shower. A lot of room in front of the toilet simply because it's kind of on this nice radius curvature wall. A lot of storage area behind it, and it has a fantastic fan above the toilet. 
lot of room in here. With the slide out, there is actually a significant amount of room. You can move around really freely, and it doesn't seem like it's one of those claustrophobic trailers. When you're in some of them, they kind of cram everything together, and it feels as if, you know, the first thing you want to do is get out. This one feels like you could spend some time in here. You can see quite a few people also for something being so small. More storage above the dinette. You know, I dig this small trailer. I think most people who are looking for something small in that 20 foot range, something that they could tow with a half ton. Again, this is at the high side, definitely a little bit over that 6,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating I recommend. I would recommend going a little light in terms of overall cargo and try to bring it down to the 6,000 pound range if you are gonna tow it with a half ton truck. But overall, this is a really nice trailer. Now something else that's really cool about this setup is it's not your typical leaf sprung suspension. This uses a really, really cool independent suspension system on it. Kind of like a torsion bar inside there. Nice LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion backup camera and it does have a ladder on the back so you can walk up onto the roof to service it. Here are all your connections. Has a rack and pinion slide system. 30 amp connection since it is only a single AC unit. And something that's really cool about these Flagstaff micro lights is how high they sit off the ground. You have a lot of ground clearance. These things can be taken to some areas where ground clearance might normally be an issue. Has a relatively short overhang, mainly because the entire thing's really short, but these are very, very good units if you're gonna be going out to areas where you might be restricted by the length of the RV you have. Something else that's really nice, dual battery boxes. So a lot of travel trailers, even fifth wheels, only have a single battery. And for this one to have dual battery boxes is really nice. Guys, overall, I have always liked these Flagstaff Micro Lights. They are built very well. They are very high quality travel trailers. They're relatively heavy for the length, but at the end of the day, they are very towable. They are fun to have. They hold their value very well. And they have a lot of really nice features that some other travel trailers in the same price category and the same size generally don't have. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this windy video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.